Hello guys and welcome back to Mystery Truth. Today we look at the top 5 deadliest tidal wave tsunami that has been recorded in modern history. Tsunamis often wreak havoc across the world, causing untold amounts of devastation, with the most recent occurring last weekend in the Pacific Ocean. But today we bring you the 5 most deadly tsunami occurrence that has devastated human existence in recorded times. Last Saturday, an underwater volcano erupted near to the Polynesian Kingdom of Tonga, triggering waves measuring 15 meters, 49 feet in size, to batter the more than 170 islands that are encompassed within it. The natural disaster has left at least three people dead and destroyed many communities in its wake. Despite its undoubted devastation, the tsunami is significantly less deadly than some of its predecessors. So, which of these events have gone down in history as the most little of modern times? At number 5, we have the Sundra Strait Tsunami in 2018. The Sundra Strait Tsunami occurred on, the, on December 23, 2018 and was the third major tidal wave to originate in the area around Indonesia, with the first being in 1883 and the second in 2004. Despite this region having previously suffered from two of the worst tsunamis in modern history, people were not warned of the tsunami's imminent arrival. At least 373 people died with reports of hundreds more missing and the displacement of almost 2,000 people. At number 4, the Tohoku earthquake and tsunami in 2011. One of the worst disasters in Japanese history is the earthquake and tsunami that struck the Tohoku region in Japan on March 11, 2011, with a magnitude of 9.0. The earthquake created a series of waves reaching as high as 132 feet. This disaster claimed more than 15,500 lives and left 450,000 plus individuals homeless. Indeed, the damages to infrastructure from this event were far greater than any other tsunami in modern history. In the aftermath of the event, it was estimated the material losses were $300 billion, with the tsunami also resulting in a level 7 nuclear meltdown and release of radioactive materials at the Fukushima Dalichi power plant. Hmm. At number 3, we have the Valdivia earthquake and tsunami of 1960. On the 22nd of May 1960, off the southern coast of Chile, the most powerful earthquake in recorded history occurred. At a 9.5 magnitude, the earthquake generated the Pacific White Tsunami with waves as high as 80 feet. Overall, the earthquake and tsunami claimed 1,655 lives, injured 3,000, and left 2 million homeless in Chile. As the tsunami swept across the Pacific Oceans, it incurred millions of dollars in damages and led to fatalities in Japan and the Philippines. Estimates, estimates damages in Chile alone is said to be about $550 million. At number two, we have the Messina earthquake and tsunami of 1908. Southern Italy suffered devastation from a double pronged disaster in the early morning of December 28, 1908. The 7.5 magnitude earthquake and tsunami almost and Sicily. At least 80,000 people lost their lives and forced thousands more to flee. For more than a century, Scientists struggled to identify the origins of this disaster until in 2019 when a study found the fault responsible for the earthquake in the Mediterranean Ocean. And at number one, we have the Indian Ocean Tsunami of 2004. On the morning of December 26, 2004, an underwater earthquake with a magnitude of 9.1 triggered a massive tsunami that swept across the Indian Ocean. Initially, the tidal wave first struck Indonesia, followed by Thailand, 
Sri Lanka, India, South Africa, and 11 other countries in a matter of hours. With some waves ascending over 100 feet, the Boxing Day tsunami has the highest recorded death toll, killing more than 230,000 people. Estimates determined the material losses from the immense destruction were about $10 billion. In addition, there was long-term environmental damage, displacing hundreds of thousands of people as the tsunami destroyed villages, resorts, farmlands, and fishing grounds. Wow, you've heard this? The worst tsunami and earthquake that has ever occurred in modern day history since when records started taking place. And if you notice something, most of them, the, most of the events happened December and January, between December and January, mainly 24th, 23rd of December. So is there any correlation to it? Do you, do you think you know the reason why most of this tsunami occurs at that time of the year? So whatever you have to say concerning this, you drop your comments in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much.